Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing headlight restoration. Let's get to it. This 2010 Toyota Camry has pretty foggy lights here. They're not real bad, I've definitely seen worse, but they need to be addressed. Since I have two headlights, I've got the opportunity to test two products. We're going to try the Cerakote Ceramic Headlight Restoration Kit and the 3M Ultra Headlight Restoration Kit. We'll do one on each side and then compare the differences. We're going to start with the Cerakote on this headlight. First up is Cerakote. It says no tools required. Let's see what's in it. A clear coat, probably for, oh, there we go, step three. A whole bunch of step ones. Looks like two sets. This is the oxidation remover. Came with some nitro gloves. Step two surface prep. Looks like some sanding discs. Not sure what grit those are. Probably about 200. Maybe a little bit, nah, more like 2,000. We'll take a look. A couple of those. And then some instructions. So this step two has a 3,000 and a 2,000 and two of each. So I assume we're supposed to use one per side. We'll start with the 2,000, then move up to the three. First, we've got to use the oxidizer remover. First up, they recommend not getting the chemicals on the paint, so we're going to mask off this headlight. Next step, wiping it down with this oxidation remover. Yeah, it appears to be taking something off. They give you eight of these, so four per side. Number one, number four. Now we're supposed to rinse this thoroughly. Next, we wet sand. We're going to start with the 2000 grit, which is the red. Make sure you keep it moist with a spray bottle or a hose while you do this. Not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned now. It looks way worse than when I started. Okay, we'll remove the 2000 grit and put on the 3000. Again, we'll wet sand with this. Make sure we keep it moist the whole time. It looks better than it did when it started. Up close, you can see a lot of micro scratches, probably from that 2000 grit. Honestly, I think I would have started with a 2500 and then gone to a 3000. This 3000 seems to have plugged up a little bit, but not too bad. You could probably rinse it and clean it off as you go. On to step three. The instructions say use one and only one. Go horizontally and do one coat. It's a little bit streaky. It's hard to do in just a single coat because I keep seeing areas that I want to redo. All right, we're going to let this dry for a little bit and uh, take a look and see how it came out. Okay, it's been drying for, oh, about three minutes. Before, after, before, after. 
This also gives you a little bit of a view. This is non-done, and this is the done with the Cerakote. Substantial difference. Now let's move over and do the 3M on this side. All right, here's the 3M kit. Open it up. Immediately, we see we're going to need a drill for this. Comes with, looks like a 3000 grit pad. It's kind of a foam material. No surprise, it's 3M brand. Let's see what else is in here. We've got, looks like an 800 grit disc. Feels almost like typing paper. It's pretty smooth. Feels smoother than 800. Looks like we've got some 360s. That seems really, really coarse by number, but it does not feel like 360. Maybe that says 36U. Hard to say. Looks like that the numbers on the back of this 3M does not really equate to grit. These things are really smooth. They feel more like in the, you know, two to 3,000 range as well, a lot like the Cerakote kit had. It's got a lot more of them. Looks like we have four of the browns and a couple of whites per side. So a whole lot more sanding material than the Cerakote came with. Let's just take a look at the overall kit. It's nice because it comes with tape. We've got a lot more of these. We've got this chuck for the drill or this pad for the drill. It also comes with these clear coats that we put on at the end, kind of like the Cerakote did. It only comes with one glove, whereas the Cerakote came with four. But generally speaking, looks like it's similar and it comes with everything we need to do the job. This has already been washed as the instructions state, so we're going to go straight to masking and sanding. And we're going to start with the brown. It's again important to keep it wet so that this doesn't clog up and to consistently move around. I'm putting the drill on low speed. This is hopefully another one of those cases of it looks worse before it gets better. It's really, really cloudy right now. We're going to swap from the brown to the white. Next, we go from the white pad to this gray foam. All right, we're done with the equipment. Next, we just have to wipe it down with their clear coat. So this is this side complete. It's a little bit streaky from that clear coat. Not really thrilled with it, but you can see before, before. after, before, after, Now I'll wipe both sides down with a soft cloth and we can compare the two. Well, that's disappointing. This side, the Cerakote stuff is still a little tacky. It hasn't dried even the amount of time it took to do the other side. So as soon as I touched it, it got cloudy. In the end, I use the Cerakote here, the 3M over here, the Cerakote, I liked the process much better, it looked much better after it was done, doesn't require a power tool, but this clear coat didn't dry, so as soon as I touched it with a rag, it went dull. The 3M product required a drill, so I wasn't that thrilled with it. The other downside was it was cloudy all the way up until I put that clear coat on, so my suspicion is once that clear coat wears off, it's going to be really hazy. I don't know if that'll take a week, a month, a year, but wasn't all that great. 
it's hard to see here, but it's really streaky as well. So at a distance, it doesn't look too bad, but up close, it looks pretty poor. So at the end of the day, I'm not really thrilled with either one of these products. If I had to recommend one over the other, I'd go with the 3M, but if I had additional headlights to do, I'd definitely test some other ones because I don't really like either one of these. That's it. Thanks for watching.